Rotations. A rotation is a transformation in a plane in which a figure turns around a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of rotation, and the amount of turn is called the angle of rotation. So here, the angle of rotation theta equals 90 degrees. The center of rotation is here. The concentric dashed circles are centered at the center of rotation and serve as an aid. So here we have the pre-image. We rotate it 90 degrees to the left like that, and now the image is on its side here in red. A rotation is a transformation in a plane in which a figure turns around a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of rotation and the amount of turn is called the angle of rotation. So here we begin with this blue pre-image, then we rotate it 180 degrees. So the angle of rotation theta equals 180 degrees around this point here and this blue image here rotates around this point here, the center of rotation, and becomes this red figure down here. Here is our image. A rotation preserves both distances and angles. Therefore, like translations and reflections, a rotation is a rigid transformation. The following are properties of rotations. So this figure here in blue is congruent to the figure in red there. A, B, so the distance here, equals A prime, B prime, so the distance there. So all of the distances between points are the same. The angle, A, P, A, so A, P, A, P, A prime, this angle here, is theta. And that's the same angle between all of the points. So between D and D prime, B and uh, B prime, etc. The angle of rotation in this example is 45 degrees and coincides with a counterclockwise rotation. So we're moving from this blue image 45 degrees to the left, counterclockwise to this red image here. A rotation can be counterclockwise or clockwise. A counterclockwise rotation coincides with positive values of the angle theta, and clockwise rotations coincide with negative values of theta. So here, in this example, we begin with the blue shape, the pre-image, and then we have an angle of rotation, theta, of negative 45 degrees. So it moves clockwise to this red image right there. Click the Desmos icon to access an interactive website that demonstrates the mapping of rotations. So in this example, we have rotation sub 90 degrees, comma zero, maps x, y, onto xy with a 90 degree rotation. A counterclockwise rotation of x degrees about point p is written r sub x degrees comma p. In this case, since the rotation is counterclockwise, x is greater than zero, and r sub x degrees comma p maps the blue shape onto the red shape. The angle of rotation applies to corresponding angles as shown and the distances from P to the paired points are equal. So for example, if we're mapping this point over to this point, the from point P, this angle is going to be X degrees, and this distance here, this length, is the same here and here. And you can do that for each point. So from this point to this point, if you drew lines like this, then this angle would also be x degrees, and this length would equal that length. A counterclockwise rotation of x degrees about point P is written r sub x degrees comma P. In this case, since the rotation is counterclockwise, x is greater than zero, and r sub x degrees comma P maps the pre-image onto the image. And mapping the image to its pre-image would be written like this, the same as above, but with these swapped.